Now, once you get into the business of installing servers, one option that always comes up is, should I upgrade this server or should I do a clean install? And so in this video, let's talk about planning a server upgrade. And this whole realm of opting to not do a clean install does have some interesting ramifications sometimes. Notice this statement right here, upgrading may not be your best option with Windows Server 2012. Now that's not a typo, that's just straight up. And I'm not giving you this, this actually came from Microsoft. And the reason is in Windows Server 2012, some of the server roles, the features, or the applications cannot be upgraded from previous versions. Now, some can. So, how do you go about determining what will upgrade? Very simple. Just simply start the upgrade process, and then setup is going to automatically perform some compatibility checks. A compatibility report will be generated, and then you'll know whether or not the services, the roles, the features that you need can be upgraded on this machine. Let me point out, before you even start this process, make sure you get a backup of that machine and its data just in case. All right, if you've ever been there till 2 a.m., you know what I'm talking about. There's a couple of notes I want to point out here about this whole server upgrade business. Number one, watch for this on the exam. To perform an upgrade, you start the installation from within the currently installed operating system, meaning if I've got 2008 R2 and I want to upgrade to Windows Server 2012, I'm going to start Windows Server 2008 R2. I'm going to be in the operating system. I'll put my Windows Server 2012 media into the machine, kick off the installation, and I will get an option to do an upgrade. Now, if I boot that server from that installation media, I'll see the upgrade option, but it will be disabled. So watch for this scenario on the exam. If the upgrade option is disabled, it means you booted off that installation media, and it can't find all the files that it needs for the upgrade process, and so it's just graded out, and it's not going to let you do it that way. So, one more time, to perform an upgrade, you have to start the installation for Windows Server 2012 from within the currently installed operating system. Then, last but not least, if an upgrade does happen, so you get the report, everything's cool, you can do an upgrade, you do the upgrade, and then later when you're trying to do something in there, you get a message that some files cannot be found. Well, you can go check the temporary storage directory, and this is where you'll find that it's in the system drive, and then in the hidden share dollar, um, as the hidden file dollar windows, and then the little uh, curly Q, and then the actual the letter Q. But you can just go look around. Better yet, go out and look on Microsoft's site for the temporary storage directory if you get lost or anything. But in that process of upgrading, it will sometimes move some things into temporary storage and then for some reason not move them back. Okay, I know that shocks and disillusions you, but uh, those things happen. So anyway, that's the basics on planning a server upgrade. Make sure that you understand how to kick one off. Make sure that you know that it's going to check compatibility and watch for those scenarios on the exam.